contact here, I do not know whether it has been successfully picked up. I won't say rescued, but picked up uh, by the uh, Alfred Wegener Institute icebreaker Polar Schneer. In any case, I would like to give you some eye candy here. It was only a few days ago that the student, Gaute Hope, who's one of the co-authors, uh, arrived back in Norway on the icebreaker Odin, leaving Inge Christofferson alone aboard the hovercraft. Uh, I should point out, uh, Martin, it's not a hovercraft. A hovercraft would be sucking itself down the ice. This is the opposite. It blows itself down the ice. In any case, uh, continuing on, uh, these are our two stalwart explorers, and on the uh, left we have Gaute Hope, who uh, is, uh, according to Inkme, one of the best students he's ever had. He's very computer savvy, and for instance, when our Furuno uh, navigator broke down, he was uh, able to use a completely different GPS sensor and get it up and operating. And on the right is Inkme Christofferson, who has had a rich uh, career various universities in Norway, and uh, lastly, the University of Bergen, working both in the polar areas in the North Pole, as well as using a vibrator truck to do uh, seismics on the ice in uh, uh, the uh, German uh, base in uh, uh, Antarctica. So anyway, uh, here are uh, two people. In the background is uh, the hovercraft. I sort of slink around Monaco, seeing the Ferraris, the Maseratis, the Porsches. Well, this thing is worth four Lamborghinis. In any case, we built this thing five years ago, and this is his fifth year of operation north of the Arctic Circle. It is based in Long Year uh, uh, Svalbard, and it was built specifically uh, for polar work. I gave a talk on it uh, last year, and uh, actually a year before that. And uh, basically what this is is a five-ton hovercraft which has been uh, protected against the cold. Uh, it is 40 feet long. It's just the length where it does not need uh, specific registration. Uh, its uh, carrying capacity is 2,200 kilos and we have been routinely running now at 3,500 above the uh, bare weight. Uh, the whole principle of a hovercraft is that approximately 40% of the power is used for elevating it, in our case some 73 centimeters, uh, where we can count on 60 centimeters when we're running at speed, and uh, the other 60% is used for the 2 meter diameter uh, variable pitch propeller for propulsion. And uh, it was built in Southampton by Griffin, which was a company which was started by the official uh, Better of the hovercrafts, Sir Christopher uh, uh, Cockroft, and uh, this is uh, this was Hull 92 that they produced, and about 35 of these of uh, this kind of model have been produced, uh, many of which are being used in polar areas in the Baltic and the Gulf of Bothnia. In any case, going along, uh, the idea for uh, Frem 2012 was to support a uh, Lomonoso Bridge Unclos survey called Long Rock 3, uh, which was the Canadians and Danes to study the area uh, north of Greenland. And the Lomonoso Bridge is a uh, possible uh, continental prolongation. And the whole idea there, I, okay, here we go. The whole idea there was that we would spend about a week working to measure earthquakes for the master's thesis of Gauté Hope using an array of hydrophones. And then after that, uh, it would progress up to a point 160 miles further uh, to the northwest, and would rendezvous again with Odin, pick up more fuel, and then progress up here, where for a period of about a month, they would be independently doing seismic work together with uh, using a dark core to try to get into some of these lower uh, layers on the Lomonoso Bridge uh, where they outcrop. And the hovercraft is equipped with a 20 cubic inch air gun. Uh, don't forget that uh, sitting on the ice, basically the acoustic environment is 10 degrees below sea state and zero that you have at sea. So with a 20 cubic inch air gun, there's no reason that we can't re reach basement anywhere in the Arctic Ocean except perhaps in the North Chukchi Basin. 